Oh, mean, oh, the thing, oh, the you, them now, all out pan them and say them no one the prime minister. Eh? You know, yeah, Jamaica government said them, them all send some people that yet. Jamaica people are here, trust for them. Send in what? Them are going to follow America. Go and follow America, man. And the money with them here, so them all get to them. Yes, <laughs> yeah, they like them all go work off. Huh? And the man, them serious, you know. The man, them serious. The man, them serious. A long time, them serious, you know, and I call the people, them gang. Just like yeah, what I'm calling other people, them terrorists. I have a primary school, I have a principal, tie up a youth, you know. Mm. And they grill, you know. I'm beat, I say I feel it for you, you know. Blessed love, my viewers and subscribers, who are going. Open all doing good, open all staying safe. Now, my people, we're there again, pan the cutting edge. And this one is the latest as of from March the 13th. 2024 my people so it's the latest there's so much important content in this one the main topic of the day corporal punishment is still being a thing in jamaican where children are getting physical abused by teachers and also a lot more educational thing for us as pan-africanists and rasta for us to learn and get edify so we can free our mind from what is going on in the system today. And also Mutabaruka and Akala discuss about the war in Haiti. Yeah people, a whole lot is going on over there. There's a whole lot of content here to share with you guys. So I hope you can stay tuned for this because it's going to be really really informative so my people before we go into it you know it's a black power movement so definitely drop a like and subscribe and share with a friend or a family so they can be a part of the black power movement and let's go straight into it check out one muta baruka as to say then we share our thoughts and opinion down in the comment section let's walk this is the cutting edge and i refer to day with you we're going to send you going to college you know we're going to feature clip you know me love play the clip them like how we play the music short and spicy that you can get some knowledge sometimes understanding sometimes you might never hear where you hear tonight before we want to feature a clip you right now with talk about Mahatma Gandhi and Winston Churchill a lot of you might not know who is that if you're young but a lot of us know who is Mahatma Gandhi and who is Winston Churchill? So I uh, play this clip. Yes, serious talk. Yes, blessed. Yeah. Yeah, motor. Yeah, man. Yeah, good night. Um. Good night. Last week I already talked to a lady, and she was telling me about cop punishment. Yeah, in the school, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, you say, you bring me back to my childhood, you know. Mm. Because I see with my eyes, and people never believe me this, you know. When I go to primary school, I see a principal tie up a youth, you know. Mm. And he grill, you know. And beat, I see me feed it to you, you know. Mm. And I see him principal the beat me one time, you know. And me never do nothing wrong, you know. Me get no for that too. Me get no for that at school. He was a driver, a red buggy, and people now nah, believe me say, man, tie up a youth, you know. Mm. And this thing I need to be abolished out of school, man. But them say they abolish it. I don't know why it's still go on. But she, she a complain about it to me. I say it is still prevalent. Yeah, man. Then I that she said she visit 16 school. And the teacher them say them still do it. Right, this this this, this thing I need it needs it needs to get your attention, man. But at that we're gonna do we not have to come off it. At that we're gonna do. I mean, it it, it really really really. You say trouble to bring back to my childhood, you know, me chat about it, you know. Yeah, tell him, man. Terrible man. Terrible man, yeah, tell him. The man foolish is to don't spare the rod and spoil the child. And wheel up the picnic them. And enough of that, my, my, you know what my head father say? Touch your toe and take your blow. 
Like him a poet. <laughs> Touch your toes and take your blows. Really? Man, I have a little bill there, you see, man. He call it the snake. It's when it lick you, man. Every part of your sting, man. I, I just thought I was going to get some kind of justice, you know, because... Yeah, well, we're going to try, you know, we're going to try, we're going to go into it more, you know? Yeah, man, respect for that, because this thing I need to address, man, I need yeah. to address. Yeah, man, give thanks, Brendan. Yeah, man, go on the way out of motor. All right, blessed. Yes, heal. Heal the eye. Blessed, man. Give the motor. I did. Yeah, yeah you know... What people don't realize about children is two things children want to do, eat and play. Yeah. You know? And they have a lot of energy. How do we find time to spend more time with our children at home? Never mind when they go to school. Other people. You're going to be a like a child that don't even know what they're doing. Total nonsense. Yeah. You know, this thing been going on for a very long time. And when I think... European people not beat them pick me. No. But from the slavery days, all this nonsense has been going on. It's about time we cut out these brutalities. Spear the rod, don't spear the rod and spoil the child. No, man. man. Total, total, total nonsense. Most nonsense. of the way we can control or try to control our children because they have a lot of energy. Yeah. You know, there was, you know, four murder in one house like a couple of days back. The mother, our daughter, two children. Come on. What brutality. What these people could have done. Mm. There's no heart. Mm. You know? And when we look in Jamaica, some of it is not working. The so-called criminal. If they were educated properly, we wouldn't have these nonsenses. Yeah. No? We, they have another thing they call, they call the PATH program. If you know the amount of people who can't get it because... I think it's a privilege for a few. Total nonsense. Why them can't get it? They, 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 got, they promise to come to the house to look to see what is going on, how the, the situation of the home, and mm. they never turn up. Oh. A election was coming up, and they said the same. They're coming, and they never turn up. Mm. If we come to today on the budget, you see, what about the, the people who's not employed? How are we going to find something for them to do? It's good if you lift the tax threshold, it's not because it's still 30 or 1,000 a week or something like that. Mm. The man at the bottom get nothing. It's about time we, you know, we set up things that we can help all our people, enough on planet Earth. Yeah. You have NATO and the UN and Israel is massacring people left, right, and center. And mm. America is backing them. And I'm going to say this, we black people are African people who don't want to stop and tell America, say, look, enough is enough. And we have some puppets in Jamaica who believe that we're not get a U.S. visa to go to America, it can't work. Total yeah. nonsense. It's about yeah. time we have somebody who can help us to rule our destiny. Well, we have to start help yourself in our region. My brother, Make, of course, we got to what we're not educated enough to. They tell us blame us, we blame ourselves. Mm. Just imagine, you see, a woman of three, four, five, picking it and a father, picking it and school. And you're going to blame the mother. You're going to blame it, picking them. Yeah? And people can take what they want to increase time and again. And they live in a gated community, all this nonsense. If we look in Haiti, what is happening to Haiti? Haiti problem shouldn't exist. If America had care, she have this is all no, over the world. America, no, okay. America and France perpetuate that, you know. Well, I am saying, if we take CARICOM, is it? Yeah. Caribbean countries, we can't come together and say, look, we're going to help out Haiti. No, A few no. people come to Jamaica and you put them on board and send them up to what? Because we, we, we were run by American government, mind. Well, a government say, where it's very Americanized. Well, I'm going to say this, and a few people know, 
we should have a go republic two years now and nobody's stepping up on that. But the day will come when the Nyan Kapong maroon fraternity yeah. say enough is enough and we take back with land and we gonna be non aligned. Mm. Jamaica can feed themselves and if we look to see the amount of food we can grow, we can store it and we can live in Africa run we have to eat rice and flour every day. Yeah. The land is fertile. You, you know the amount of land we have around. Bush, 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 bush. Yeah. I give thanks to the ancestors who have done so much for us. Yeah, and many man. people don't know about Sam Sharp. He gave his life for us. Yeah. He said, take me dear young and hang me. I would rather die a free man than to live as a slave. Yes. Yeah? And I know two parties sitting thing this. You see? And I know yeah. red on yellow and green. We are African people who want to know enough in Jamaica for everybody to live good. The master God let us sell it and not give none. Of course. I'm going to treat now, me all this gonna be rectified. All this gonna be rectified, you see, in time. Yeah. And the time is now. Alright, so we have to go. No well thinking Africans could vote for Labour rather. Yeah, we, we, right. we have to move the time. I got to catch up on it. We have to move. Yeah, thanks again, my brother. And yeah, all man. the family, all, yeah. the, all the people in the world. Call right? again, more man. Love, Give thanks. More love, yes. Great. Yes. Break time. Yeah. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Um. A couple of money that pressure, but you play, play one song in RC before we go to it. You play a song in RC. Never remember my name, but the guy was talking about get to sing pens and get to under poverty. But I like it was I don't know if it was the four, but he said like the guy must you know in bed after. Virgin name and the accent you could have played but a song. One new one but it was very It's I a new there. song or an old song. Why well, it sound new at the first? Well, most of it sound me here from here. It sound new to me, but it sound like you were saying the person who did it die. Or you must say the song, you must say it before the song. Uh, so, but it was mm-hmm. that time first one is in pens and they get the life and the property. The wicked, the, the oh, oh, yeah, I know it's true. I know it's true. I know oh, it's true. So, about six man comes since night. Yeah, they do. Yeah, you say about a yeast there. I know it's true. Yeah. I moved a question. I mean, get to, so I get to life. Yeah, quick, quick question. We were from the 60s or 70s. We can't swear nobody for the cane and the leather strap that we get. And we used to have a cane where we were classmates and all that. Lay down upon desk and get cane. We can't swear the Ministry of Education for that. We're not doing nothing about it back then. No, because it, it, you could have done it. You could have, no, I don't think you can't do it. Are you supposed to do it? That's why the lady did not talk about it. Where we need to go really investigate with school, them continue to do it. Yeah. Corporal punishment, them call it. You need, we need to sue some of them teachers where I do it still. Or the yeah, school, man. as a matter of fact. Something on the I tell her, man, I want to never slap my daughter upon her mother. But it was terrible when. Teacher, so let a tick bell there. Oh, God. Keen, let me see with the lock. Keen. My teacher is a keen. Rule of correction. As some yeah, service people go to the moat and see, then the police can't tell if a runner with their GP. You see, they left that discipline now in the society. Yeah. I'm with a question now. We have a, a Jamaican government ever asked anybody from the United States to extradite them here for the guns? Whosoever work? And that particular port, oh, them allow the guns to come here. We have a, 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 a I don't, I don't hear of it. I don't hear of it. Maybe them do, but I don't hear of it. But we actually have to scam and ask to them a bad man. All right, you know. Mm. I don't hear of it, Muta. Yeah. So how is it that? But in you know, Muta, can still like, come to the gun and come to the port same way? Of course. So obviously, if you carry a pill in America, Muta, then fine. How is it that America? 100 gun, 60 gun come to the port without undetected. How that possible? Well, I don't know why. You have to go ask them how they make it. It's somebody that they are, are, are feed it. <laughs> between uh, the man who sent it, between the man who are and between the man who are collect it, 
and some right, policeman who are involved in it. All right, Muta. Question now, Muta. Yeah. Who is it appoint the police commissioner for us, for us in Jamaica? Who appoint it? Because this is um, the one, Chuck, Chong. No, them people appoint, appoint him, man. Them people, they recommend him to do it, for, you know. But Muta, this man, I mean about Kevin or whatever. I yeah. the first name about him. Yeah, the first me about but look like him have a reputation reputation still in a in a the police fraternity. Motor, the best commissioner we have about me now. Peer and motor. Yeah. I this one here from there about that. You, you know, as it may sound a way motor, but I believe when we to be card or be card or yeah. you know, we'll have a better job than this man. Yeah. I am telling you motor. Yeah, but I'm not wanting to be no car. We need to have bad man and make, 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 make all police free. <laughs> oh, all right. We need so, to make all police free, a, a, a thief, a police. You know why I'm saying, Mota, look mm. at it. There's some video I saw with police and, you know, Jamaican citizens. You know, if you see these videos. Where am I talking about? Where am I talking about? Poor police arrest are you talking about? Panagrong, the Panagrong, the youth Panagrong. Yeah, yeah, but the question I ask no motor, wait no. You have four police with high power gun. Number one, Mark Milan did stop police from you carrying high power gun in built up here. Just a nine or thirty. You have these police, young police with AR fifteen, war gun, you know, mm. in built up here. And the man out them are all the gun like pickaxe, then motor, you are run for the man. With a moment and I got the charge. Muta, you remember the submachine gun, the SMG, the mm. one of them called Strainer? Mm. Strainer. You remember back then as a youth, the soldier who drive the rat him with a carrot cross him now. They have a holy power all night, a shot. Yeah, I know where you're talking about. I know where you're talking And if you can't record, you know, why the police always have the magazine out of the gun, if you put that magazine in the gun motor, I think that kind of ground, the whole 32 run style. I have police officers, I was supposed to train the motor. I, 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 I lick the people with the gun without no regard after 25 run or 20 or 30 run. But not that, never go off, not never go off. Out. But we not, not never go off. I think these guns are different. No motor, but with the training and the lethal weapon you have, it should be all right. Maybe that's why not never go off, because I'm about training if you don't make it go off. <laughs> Then well you, tell, you think well about offer. three videos of them sending. You think these young police gang of Beverly are a cherry garden that beat. No, we're not talking about them can't go. We're talking about what is happening at the video. We're talking about a gun now. I tell you, say, maybe them get trained that nothing no go off. And when we look at the video, nothing never go off. So we can't say, no, if that cherry garden, and if I this, and if I this. So. Maybe we could have go off that cherry garden. So the we, 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 of police just, and these guys get, you know, make no sense. Then. Maybe them get trained if you don't make it go off. As we can't oh, clearly see, it never go off. Oh, <laughs> you oh, you, you, you develop a scenario will never happen, Bridget. No, the irresponsible, because when I say, Mute, if you go to Paris, man, or you make a few citizens, where I say verbal, if you use that, I kick out my box and I carry on. But they get trained, Mute. Them, you say them a train at Newcastle motor. You say them a train at Tittman Park. They have mm. a place at Newcastle. Them call it gas chamber motor. You don't want, you don't want to pass that chamber there a hundred meter. And you can't imagine sitting away in that chamber there with the gas in that town and look hole. Mm. And then give you a mask where a, a gas mask will never work. You don't want to go you don't want to walk a hundred yeah, meter yeah. away from it motor. And that's supposed to strengthen you mentally and physically. So therefore, if I'm not even tell you, if you got a lot of pop, your mother, you're supposed to just walk firm. All right, but you never see, you know, the same video, a brother say, you can't shoot me. If you see the police have a gun, I'm going to tell the police, you can't shoot him. Like, you might dare the police to shoot him. And the police never shoot him. And even though they are only you on the gun, the gun still, like, him still like kick after them and wrestle for them and all them something there. But while them slide on the sand, you know, while them slide on the sand and drop on the back, you know. Yeah, yeah. But I tell the motor, that sort of AR-15, if you find you, select that and charge that, trust the motor, it blow up on that. That's what, what I, I say. We must try to have 
people for the situation, situation for a professional level, but it never happened because, as you know, the level of people. Because black people are doing it. The black man as a policeman no, no respect him color, so him just no care. Because me know I'm mean, gonna ask the moot. I mean know I anytime mm. we reach up, go go there all the gun in the other meeting every night, we tell him. Me know why I'm can't do to certain people. You must have people who can be with certain just like how you have the riot squad. Alright, so um, wait, what was what 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 was the what the police what you think the policeman should have do in other situation on the video? No, um, I think one, one child of the man on the ground on a control because twice still have him down. And but he never on a control because he might kick after them. Said he yeah. never on a control motor. He never. Yeah. So what you have to do, I, I, don't escalate the situation. Call for backup to get to ease out the people in the area. But it's like a tag on our business. It's it, it just a thing where we don't know level of intelligence from both sides because mm -hmm. they're not supposed to interfere with the police and do the duty or make an arrest. But when I ask them, the training is supposed to help you mentally if a man say, hey, black boy, go for a drama, we come like nothing. It's like a man say, you go for a fire, for a fire, man, a man say, if a man spit for you, I run the car, would you shoot a fire? And my answer was no. When we shoot a fire, man, I stop all my man in the crowd. So all of these things we are trying the mentality of the people them. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's not work motor because I'm going to tell you the police them there and we have a state motor because so much people that are dead at Westmoreland and mm -hmm. I still say a million and one police out there I get tickets but go to the police four of them six of them are in the radar yeah they say I'm say officer they can't look behind us sometimes you know. motor they look so they give me they have to mm -hmm. turn them turn around and say, I say yes you can't look around sometimes so it's like the man who are, you can't talk to them it's like the man who the blue them and make them so superior that you mm. can't advise them. You know, yeah. four persons said to me, them said, my boss, if the police said, all right, I'm going to take the man, grab a gun and shoot him up. I want to kill him because if I can't have a suit, I'm going to take it away. I'm going to pick up a pit them, send them for the moon. But yes, yeah, so still, them don't mention the police squad, you know, are second enough. And you have six men, I tell me, you say, they're going to help the police. Because you cannot allow the police motor to be the enemy of the decent law by the citizen. citizen. Yeah. And Andrew Wilness and them friends create that the pass half a tree last week. And you, this is what 2020. But every week you pass half a tree. Where, where you live? No, because you have a business. I look at thing now Winchester um, yeah. shopping complex. So now I never walk along the bus. Okay. When I try to the motor, the purpose of the police yeah. is wrong. And yeah. that's my thing. I mean, that man, Muta, if you say you stand for something, you stand for something. Yeah. But I'm not being hypocrite. That's why I'm going to tell you, so I'm going to vote. I'm going to vote yeah. by independent man. I want to give it a two, the PNP and the Labour, right? Thing, me, I'm going to swallow it. Yeah. You know, yeah. say something, man, then do something else. He's a black man. I'm going to say black power. But what yeah. I'm going to say is several occasions, Muta. Uh, all right. We go down there one night, and the police are over the other side, opposite Brooklyn. I shine, Mr. Man, I shine the flashlight upon the, the, the drive and this. You know, fight crime, man. Mm. This. Why is the government going to get a $4,000? So it, it show you where they establish your interest to them just dead eh, for bringing the revenue for the police motor. Motor, I bet you any amount of money, stand up by your gate. So after one, tell me if you see one police car drive, go up and drive, come back. No. It's not yeah. happening again. No police car can't, can't drive up my road. My road up here, boom, boom, boom. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. I hear you, the gas station, I, I, I go turn off our temple, I listen. Yeah, yeah. It's not, mm. I can't tell you more that there's a police sergeant named Gary Duncan, a radication, a Earl Grant, and one named Mullins, in them there are the embassy, you know, them are the motor. Mm. And I'm saying, motor, you can't have police that turn ticket to one, I mean, say, and yeah. the chain, oh, yeah, man are dead. A nickel. For them yeah. life, but what, what, what important? The money we I get are the life. Yeah, oh, it's sad. It's sad. We're going to them out there. We're going to get something over KG. And at this, the, 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 right at the clock, at six police members pass over NCB4, mm. further up where GG recorded there. 
next six star again, I look at the next police, so I check the other police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. said, oh, yeah, beef, so. I mean, I said, really, them man, if you people, three of them blew them in other glass. And yeah, it is yeah. wrong, we can't take a taxpayer money, I just the police. Well, pan the, pan, pan, the, pan the video, have you seen you, them never free it, because I'm a dear, the policeman for shoot him. Exactly. Have you yeah, seen you, yeah, them look here, and the other one, pan the government kick after the police, same way. Generation depends on what you understand and try and deal with it differently. Mm. You can't have the same old thing. Yeah. It's like we are reinventing the wheel. We are do the same thing to expect different results, and it doesn't make no sense. That's yeah. why I mean, I said, Who's this commissioner? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Who, 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 where we're the results are getting the same old? We soon find out that who him. We soon find out. <laughs> yeah, man, we said Black Power. All right, Benjamin. Yeah. Yeah. And you need to keep up so that I'm here and I said I'm going to make US and French France just have them problem and I don't send to the labor because you can't control your backyard a baby chump me call him you know Andrew, Andrew a baby chump and I'm a hypocrite because I'm setting up the people and I keep meeting now me, I keep meeting yesterday yesterday hypocritical level you send back the people in the motor yeah. and you keep meeting because US and Canada must be for them big money and you send to the motor yeah, send yeah. them on the motor gun they are hated but yeah. no soda go up there and I'm set my general and none came go around our room because the man said, oh, the difference is that none came in our room with none. And the man said, the mount of AR-15 lean up and AK. Yeah. It's sad. So make them go up there and think, say, a Jamaican people are dealing with black man. See yeah. a Jamaican, build Jamaican, make we have a black power so we can't. Uh, right. We have to move on all door. We have to move. Yeah, man, bless you. Trust me, the Virginia. Serious artists who so know they about again. I want to me with them. I will produce a tune I do. Because if I get a tune I with them, it must do a next tune, man. Yeah, anybody who know the Virginia? Name Mar. Tell them some motor want to play a next tune with the Virginia if you do them gone. You understand? Yes. Yeah. Hey, anybody who know the Virginia? Yeah. Blessed, you are listening to your radio, Bridging. Yes, yeah. Stop listening to your radio. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Yeah, man, stop listening to your radio, man. Stop listening to your Yeah, motor. Stop listening to your radio. Yeah, man, yeah, you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, what may I say now? I reverse, yeah, reverse the car. No, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, you know good now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, feel like, say, we should have some Marcos Gavilla. Marcos Gavilla? Yeah. Like which, which one of the law of them? Like the law. The law of Marcos Gavilla, say. For stone and the the... the the politician them you know. Yeah, well, you be, well, you be, you be a I, I always, I, I always I read it, for sure, say, something yeah. like that would have possible to stop some of the corruption. That's why I read it all the while. But nobody now going to do that. Nobody now going to stone people to death right now. That has some long time something in the Bible days. People don't stone people yeah. to death again. Again, yeah. But anyway, me no, I say... I'm prison them for long. Me I say, when we, we see I go on to Jamaica, you know, because watch me now. Them, them politicians that take eight years to run a, a local government election. Mm. And they take eight years to run an election a, a eight years. What is the difference? Me don't see no difference from where I go on a eight years. I go on yes, well, the difference is that the people them now rise up against the government. Okay. Physically rise up. Physically rise up. Yeah, Asian people them rise up and tell me no one you say that so you know. America, yeah. you, America, you are control, control we. We are get you out. So when you look on the, 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 the look on the whole thing, you know, it's like you see election and I run now and, and nobody know win. <laughs> nobody know what the winner. Mm. And that side I said them win and next side I said them win and a madness. A madness. Yeah man, a madness man. You know, that's why I always say you no. Know, 
in them five lawyers, I mean, I don't like them legislate quickly. Same law, them you hear all this, that say when they must sign in. You hear you play it all the while, too. Mm. Hey, this is six election date. That's one of the most. You, you, you can't depend on one man to say the more call election and when a man. Want. Yeah, anytime you want and all them things there. We have to get them things together. The impeachment law, we have to get that together because you can't imply a man for work and you can't fire him. Mm. You see it? And yeah, man, I agree the, with you, man. I see the two term thing. Want a law where a prime minister can do more than two terms. That means yeah, like, a like America. Term. Like America. Yeah. Mm. So a man can't get you know, feeling that he more dead in the independent wheelchair. Mm. And, 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 mm. and next man can't stand the chance and all them things. Then turn the place in a dictator. Then they understand putting all of him influence, seeing people and all them things. Then mash up the place. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, when you look at, oh, what I'm going on now, it's like, all right, the ombudsman now. Election is a very busy day. See? And you, I go, you will get the man where I run the whole election in a power. So the ombudsman, it's like, like, yeah, yeah, man, a captain for a team and him at the umpire at the same time. So, mm. so it's like well, them politicians are there, them know what they are doing, you know. See? So when you look on it now, the, the, the election are going, but the man have a busy round and the captain round and, and things are going on if you go on and when they work it out. It it can go on cause it just can't go on. Yeah. Well, I mean, I tell you, it's them politician, man. Them rough, it man. As I'm saying, I'm out You see, but I like to see we as Rasta join in at them party, you know. Join in at them party? You mean yeah, the, man. the two parties, them? Yeah, join in at them, man, because that's the only way, right? Where is it, join them? When I say join them, I mean... Going as MP, going as MP and all that. In the PNP and the GLP? Yeah, man, and the two of them, because I'm going to so right now, I train this guy. No, I'm not going to do that. Go, no, no, I know you know you're not that, but I tell you, say, at that. No, you want to know, you want to know. You might feel so you can't go in, you know what people did go in there and feel so them could have changed? Them, them could have changed them? No, I talk Rasta, I don't talk. No, but, wait. I don't talk Laxman, you know. We're there. Let me tell you, have, you something. You have, you have lax man in that No, we're no, we're no, we're no. Peter Phillips was a rasta, you know. You didn't know that. Yeah, but. Me did that twelve tribe when Peter Phillips was twelve tribe, you know. Yeah, he was man. Peter never down to be lax man, man. No, yeah, me not talking about lax man. Me I said Peter Phillips was a rasta in a twelve tribe, and him feel yeah. he could have go, go in to go make a difference in the party, and him become one of them. Then becomes one of them. So it's not, it's not, it's, it's not. Every man who becomes one of them. Yeah, but it's what you know, you can't go in a PNP, go change PNP. You can't go in a GLP, go change GLP. It won't change you. No, 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 I got changed me. Well, I wish you luck then, Virgin. No, 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 I got changed me. Because, watch me now. I'll tell you why now, change So which one you are going now? Which one you are going now? No, I'm not going to none of them. You know. Then how you, you advocate it? No, then I'm not going to tell you, say, as Rasta, we are dealing with politics, because I'm not really dealing with like, them, pandemic them level. I'm not dealing with politics, pandemic them level. It's a human rights activist, you know. Oh, then how you suggest some man who are dealing with politics must go back I'm going to try to show you, show you Jamaica run, with mm. a need some law where you really control them two things, you know, seeing... You understand them two, two giant, them two things where I mash up Jamaica. See? We don't like some law where. Yeah, but if you are telling them how much of Jamaica and you are telling them, so Rasta for going to join them. What kind of thing that? No. You are saying, you are telling them how much of Jamaica and you are telling Rasta for going to join them. Yeah, but Rasta always have some party, some different party, like, uh, you see, some different party. But the party, they're not going away. Which other party, you know? 
ever go nowhere. Them two parties always trample them. You see it? Are you want the Rasta going there for get trampled? No, man. Rasta not get trampled, man. If Rasta is going there, Rasta can, can change up things, man. See? Influential Rasta. Seen like all Bujo Bantan and all them, man. Are, 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 are some Rasta way. Well influential. Going to them change up things, man. You can't change. Nothing not that we can't happen, you know. See? I just you have to make it happen. Right. You see what I'm saying? See, but to what I see I go on you now, it's like it's like 1980 I'll come back. Which part of 1980? Yeah. What because part you know, you know the same part, yeah. none of them don't want to um, take the losses. Yeah, well, the two of them lose. <laughs> the two of them lose. The two of them lose. <laughs> and same to 1% of the people don't vote at the local they election, vote. you know. Yeah. Yeah, so if 70 and pe- of the people them don't vote and 20 had vote, you can't, you can't claim say you win. You know win. None of them no win. None of them no win. You can't, you can't have an election and, and 70 of the people yeah. them no vote. Vote, oh, man. I yeah. I no, man, you have to sit on and reconsider your life, man. At all, man. How the, how the year to thing look here, fire? I oh, mean, how the hate the thing go? The youth, them now hold out upon them and say them no one the prime minister there. Eh? No, I mean, I say, sending, sending, sending troops or sending police for hate it. Who, who it? must do that? No, I mean, I say, you know, the Jamaica government say them, them all send some people that hate it. Jamaica people are here to trust that. They say, you know, they have to go and follow America. Go and follow America, man. All the money with them here, so them all get to them. <laughs> yes, yeah, they let them have work off. Uh, go and follow America, you know, so the Prime Minister have to resign and he can't go back. And he can't go back. Yeah. And the man them serious, you know, the man them now. I mean, the man them serious. A long time them serious, you know, and I call the people them gang. Just like what yeah, I mean, them call the people them terrorists. Terrorists, yeah, I call the people them gang. Yeah. More of the people them work out them things still. At them, them work out them things. Yeah, but them now work it out if America and France still there. And that still the man them other man bought, you know. So yeah. them don't want France and America to come tell them where to do. They must have internal squabbling and then rectify it. And American and, 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 and France always hang over them. And I hear them do it too, years. Remember Aristide? Aristide have run come to Jamaica and then go to South Africa. So them start to do you now is that them, them start to want to send in some black people to go fight against black people. Yeah, the Kenyan them want to go along there. Yeah, the Kenyan them and the Jamaica and them too. Yeah, Jamaica. Uh, you know, but I don't know, you know, I don't see how to work. But a princess, two soldiers don't go along there and get shot. In Fenegris, when they have oldness, Fenegris, yeah. if two soldiers don't go along there and get shot. Yeah, because the people don't want about them son. Mm. Yeah, tell everything with that. I mean, I jump here because I have two soldiers go down, they go get shot. So, man. Mm. Anyway, Hello, you're more time. Yeah, we have to move. How long time you never hear from you? How long time you never hear from you? Where is it? You know, so many about there. Mm-hmm. But you know my thing go already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm never there, but there I know still. All right, sir. Give thanks for you, you man. Yeah, man. I'm big up the youth that we call a while ago, too, you know? Yeah. Oh, and I'm a general, too, you know? Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah, so you have a army, too, and a political party. No, <laughs> no. Well, no, I don't mean them way, them, man. We are to... I run the road of the world. Yeah, I run the road of the world, man. I run the road of the man. All right, Yeah, give thanks. You must know who is Mark McGandy and who is Winston Churchill. So I uh, play this clip. Listen carefully. Our second lead story today, we are going to Ghana where a group of lecturers and student campaigners who have been campaigning for the removal of India's Mahatma Gandhi statue. In September of 2016, uh, some lecturers and students at the University of Ghana demanded that the statues of Mahatma Gandhi that was erected on their campus be removed. And the reason for their agitation was Gandhi hated black people. Mahatma Gandhi, as it were, is known to be anti-black and a racist. The real Gandhi 
was a was a hateful guy. The Red Gandhi spewed racism against Africans. He called them kafirs. He was a racist. He was against Africans. He was divisive, racist, and classist. Oppressive even toward his own people. And he says he has even denied talking about the Indian, did not always obvious privilege of riding in the same municipal tram cars with his white fellow colonists. If he cannot be pulled down by diplomatic means, in fact, I myself would, would not find it uh, difficult to rally people behind me, to, to take it down violently. A statue of Mahatma Gandhi has been removed from a university campus in Ghana. It's a very sad time and interesting time. I think the very first question we asked ourselves is, was Mahatma Gandhi racist? The answer to that question is simple. Yes, Mahatma Gandhi was racist. In fact, the official organization for Gandhi wrote this about Mahatma Gandhi. But there is more to this story, and which is, yeah, it wasn't just Gandhi that was racist. In fact, somebody like Winston Churchill was publicly a racist. All you have to do is to search Google for Winston Churchill feel on race. You are likely to get to this Wikipedia page. Don't be disappointed if what you read on this page make you hungry as a black man. But then there is even more important question I think we have to ask. Why was Madna Gandhi racist? Or why was Gandhi and Winston Churchill racist? In his the the evergreen man of 80 years and four months sets out to tender his resignation. In the period between 1650 and 1780, the concept of polygenism became popular in Europe. Polygenism was this idea that different human race came from different ancestors. I need you to pause a moment and think about the implication of this concept. Now, think about it. Imagine that white people truly came from different ancestors and black people also came from different ancestor. Now, think about that. If this concept was true, it means we cannot possibly be the same people. We are going to be different species. And we are going to be different in intellect, in probably skeleton, in probably our blood, in our genes. We are going to be different in terms of our mental capacity. Yeah. I have a very sad news for you, and that is Starting from 17th century, you are having these famous European scientists coming to public, writing in the newspaper, radio, writing books. And they were making this claim that they have spent years, probably, in the laboratory to study different human races. And they have come to a very important conclusion. And that is the gene of a black man is different from that of a white man. His skeleton is different. His blood is different. Wait for it, whether you believe it or not. These scientists actually claim that the brain of a black man is smaller than that of a white man. Franco is Bania, different race, that is India, uh, black people, white people have different facial features, like some of them are black, some of them are yellow, some of them are white. Then, according to Holmes, it must be because these people came from distinct ancestors. And again, don't forget, if truly human beings came from different ancestors, they will be different. They will have different genes, they will have different mental capacity, and somebody is going to be inferior to somebody. And again, think about this. If truly we are different from one another and certain people are superior, why should we respect one another? Lions do not respect buvalu. Tigers do not respect bears. And snakes do not respect rats. So why should we respect one another if we came from different ancestors?
In 1861, the German anthropologist Franz Pruner published his own theory, which is essentially similar to everything I have told you. In 1798, a French zoologist, George Covia, published his own uh, publication in which he wrote this, Black people are approximately monkeys. During this same era, Christomania published this book. In the book, he claimed that black people are very close to animals. They are having inferior genes, you know. Then you have Charles White, Richard Bradley, Thomas Jefferson, and hundreds of famous and influential scientists of 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th century. All of them were saying the same thing. All of them were writing the same thing. All of them were confident about the same thing. All these people claim that as scientists, they have spent months and months and months in the laboratory and they have done their studies and they have come to a conclusion that you should trust. And that conclusion is every race, different race of humans came from different ancestors and some are superior to others. In the ceremonies On January attending the coronation, it has probably been nearer to the sovereign than any prime minister for many years. Mahatma Gandhi was born in 1869 and Winston Churchill. 1874. Imagine you are 17 years different ancestor. In the second part of this video, I'm going to share with you what this second group of scientists believe, which is as crazy as the first one. But for now, what I need you to understand is this. If you live as a young adult in 1892, 1890, 1895, which Mahatma Gandhi and Winston Churchill lived, it is going to take a miracle for you to not believe what the scientists of the day was talking about when it comes to race. And this was the shoes Mahatma Gandhi and Winston Churchill found themselves. Now, this is what you have to understand. Human beings are like chameleons. We are products of our time, our era, and our environment, which is the reason why you, the same you, if you were born into an entirely different culture, entirely different part of the country, entirely different part of the world, you are going to believe different things than what you believe today. Which is the reason why you, this same you, if you were born a hundred years ago, or you were born 200 years ago, you are going to believe certain things were moral, certain things were the truth, certain things were normal that you do not believe are the same today and that is the same thing that happened to Mahatma Gandhi, Winston Churchill or every other people you think were racist. Our second I want to understand what the man has said. Man has said if you did ban like Mahatma Gandhi in the 19th, 18th, 19th, 20th century you might have the same belief that black people is nearer to monkey than the other races. Eugenics. They used to have studies, books written. As a matter of fact, I have some of them books there. We are sure you outright. So black people is the last to evolve from monkey our brains not so right. <laughs> These are the thinking that existed amongst white people about other people. You know, they put themselves at the top. They put themselves at the top, you know, as the most evolved of all the people. Them. These are the prevailing thoughts that used to feed racism and the philosophy of racism but the philosophy that all one race superior and the other inferior yes that is the the beginning of that philosophy where these people come up with over the years and we now 
living it out. We become it. We have that embedded in our consciousness to the point where we actually believe it. We actually believe it. And it is part of our brain, damaged brain. Our brains, a lot of us need to be washed. Our brains were washed. Forget you that these little craziness that is implanted in our consciousness and subconsciousness. It's crazy. It's crazy. But we're going to get you right, you know. Yeah, well, we'll get you right, man. We can't make it stay there, so. We're going to continue the journey. I want to listen to these things. We're not just play them because we just want to play them. We want to play them to get something of substance in our mind. In a demo it was a night yeah, when you're ready to go to your bed. Listen. The king of Belgium created a slave colony for 30 years. The CIA assassinated your first popular leader, Mr. Lumumba. Glencore and others now suck out your cobalt without giving you tax income. We have a world food system. This is Jeffrey Sachs. An American professor of economics talking about the unspeakable facts about Africa. From their faces, notice how the moderator and the speakers on stage are uncomfortable. Hey, call me Louis. This is my spot. Louis spot. Thank you very much. What we've been hearing is uh, how the system actually works right now. And I want to emphasize we have a world food system as you can see it starts smooth and at this point no one absolutely no one is really prepared for what is about to come out of jeffrey's mouth and that is what makes this clip forever legendary first he talks about the world food system who really runs the global food agenda we have a world food system it's based on large multinational companies it's based on private uh, profits. It's based on a very, very low measure of international transfers to help poor people, sometimes none at all. It's based on extreme irresponsibility of powerful countries with regard to the environment. And it's based on a radical denial of rights of poor people, as we just heard. It's interesting, we ask, we heard from the minister of DRC, what's wrong with your country? Remember when I told you earlier to check their reactions? Well, she's the one that asked the minister earlier what was wrong with Congo. Jeffrey Sachs had to remind her. What's wrong with your country? Well, we don't even start by saying the King of Belgium created a slave colony for 30 years. The government of Belgium ran the slave colony for another 40 years. The CIA assassinated your first popular leader, Mr. Lumumba, and then installed another dictatorship for the next 30 years. And then Glencore and others now suck out your cobalt without giving you tax income. We don't reflect on that. We say, what's wrong with you? Why don't you govern properly? And so we have a system, but we need a different system. <laughs> we cannot turn this over to the private sector. We already did about a hundred years ago. Not only to the private sector, to the private sector with the US military behind it with the defense of these property rights in Mr. the Minister of Honduras's country, where United Fruit ran the country for a long time. And their attorney was the foreign minister of the United States, Secretary Dulles, and his brother was the head of the CIA, and overthrew the next door neighbor, Mr. Arbenz, to make sure that United Fruit could have its property. So we have a system but we need a different system. And the different system has to be based on principles of human dignity in the Universal Declaration, 
principles of sovereignty, principles of economic rights, because these are not nice things to do. In 1948, all the government said that food is a right, social protection is a right, not a nice thing, not a pleasant thing, a right. That was 73 years ago. The SDGs are nothing more than our generation's attempt to honor the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So we're in a world that's really tough. The private sector is not going to solve this problem. I'm sorry to say to all of the private sector leaders, behave, pay your taxes, follow the rules. That's what you should do. Jeffrey goes on to prove that he's a better economist by not only criticizing, but also giving three solutions to the problem. First, he talks about representation of Africans. And what the governments should do is the following. They won't, but they should. First, the G20 should become the G21 by inviting systemically the chairperson of the African Union and the African Union to be the 21st country. The, 20, the European Union is a member of the G20 as the EU. If you add the AU as the 21st for the G21, you add 1.4 billion people to representation at that crucial event. That will change decisively the discussion because 1.4 billion people are not at the table for finance right now, and they need to be. So my first recommendation is the G21. I love the G20. Add one seat, 1.4 billion people with the AU represented. Jeffrey then wants the lending capacity of poor countries to be increased at near zero interest. Second, we need a order of magnitude change of development finance. The rich countries just borrowed $17 trillion for COVID. The poor countries, nothing. Because the rich countries can borrow at zero and the poor countries pay 5 or 10% coupon rates or have no access at all. So the world exposed its grotesque inequality this past year and a half. Rich countries didn't say, we tighten our belts, why don't you? My country spent $7 trillion of emergency funding, not one penny for anybody else, by the way, seven trillion it didn't even cross the imagination of the u.s congress to include a few crumbs for the rest of the world but the poor countries cannot borrow that's what we should have heard from the world bank i didn't hear that from the world bank i didn't hear real numbers real numbers are in trillions right now because the world economy is a hundred trillion a year but we don't talk about real numbers but my job, all I know in this world is long division. Divide by a hundred trillion and then see whether you're talking about something real or not. So that's the second thing. We need massively to increase the lending and borrowing capacity of poor countries at near zero interest rates like the rich countries have. Then they could get something done. Finally. He talks about the United Nations at the core of the food system and not any other superpower country that runs things as they so please. The final thing is we need the UN as the core and central institution of this world, period. Because this is the only way we're going to have a civilized world is a strong UN. And it cannot be that the whole UN budget is less than my neighborhood's budget in New York. The UN core budget this year is $3 billion. New York City's budget is $100 billion. And then we say, why don't things work well? Because the rich are hoarding everything. As a bonus, Jeffrey talks to billionaires. 
Final point, rather than our three billionaires going in space, well, they could go into space and stay there and leave their money behind. That would be one idea. <laughs> but another yes. idea, another idea is we have 2,775 billionaires on the current list. Their combined net worth, 2,700 is 13.1 trillion dollars. Now I have it on good authority, you don't need more than a billion dollars to be comfortable. But they have an excess of 11 trillion dollars over just the one billion. So we should be taxing that and having a civilized world. See you are staying. See you are staying. Listen and listen well. So how, what's the solution? So how do we get that? So well, here's the thing. We got to recognize that wealth is intergenerationally created. Mm -hmm. Most people who get rich don't get rich in a lifetime. Oprah, that's once in a while. Bill Gates, that's once in a while. Most people are intergenerational wealth. That means what? That if black people want to catch up, we have to start saving wealth and passing it to the next generation. Our biggest problem ain't that we're splurging. Is that every time we splurge, we're stealing from our descendants. You're giving them no inheritance to get started with. But the white child, they're starting out $100,000 plus, a million, a million dollars plus. And I think we have to become more strategic in the way that we do our health plans as well as our life insurance plans. Because what I'm learning with a lot of these white folk, a lot of them are getting their first, uh, uh, what you want to call a shock of wealth, through the life insurance policy of their parents. We, we, we talk about that too. Yeah, yeah, so life insurance policy. Yeah. Yeah. So there's so many different strategies towards wealth that we're not even thinking about because black people, our selfishness, it's also based on our, what you want to call it, emergency consciousness, survival instinct. We're only worrying about our life. We do not think about those who come after us. Now, you got to realize now, when we got out of slavery, white folks been already building wealth for a couple centuries. Right, right. We started behind the eight ball. Okay? So you got to play catch up. How do you catch up with somebody who's 100 yards in front of you? You have to run faster than they are. Right, right, that right. means we have to sacrifice our spending habits more than everyone else in order to catch up. How does a people who are at the bottom waste money more than people who are at the top? So not only are you not catching up, you're not even thinking about it, trying to catch up. Um, we, this is good. And we got a thousand questions. And we know you. Yes, she was saying black people spurge more than any other group of people. Them, and them is the poorest. Can you believe that? Our young men have to do work. If they're too young to get a job, put them in an internship. If they're old enough, put them in the business with you. Have them sit in the office with you. Make them do, make them make photocopies or do something else. Keep them busy. Keep young men busy. Exhaust them. If they don't want to do work, put them in sports. Don't have them sit idle. Young men sitting idle, you are guaranteed to have trouble. It's not you might have trouble. You will have trouble. There is no other way of thinking about it. There's no, there's no second option. It is absolutely guaranteed. Absolutely guaranteed. Young guys, you want to save yourselves? Get a job early. Let me tell you what a job does. It makes a man out of you. When you get yelled at by your boss, man, when you get paid almost nothing for doing like back-breaking work, you got respect for money. You got respect for what you earn. You got new respect for your father. You got new respect for them taking care of an entire household. You don't complain anymore that they didn't get you the newest toy and the newest video game because you know what it takes to earn that kind of money. New respect. I had a very wealthy friend who, whose son, smart kid, he graduated high school, A student, you know, got, a, got, got into a college and his father was so proud of him, bought him a BMW. Brand new. Three series. Nice car. Crashed it in two months. Oops. Dad yelled at him. Car's beyond repair. A month or two went by, he convinced his father to buy him a Lexus. Six months go by, he crashed that too. Then the father called me and said, what should I do? Two cars this boy's already destroyed. And I was like, why? You are so smart. If you were not smart, you wouldn't be making that kind of money. Why are you so dumb with your child? 
Tell them, earn it yourself. Go buy your own car. Go get a job. And so this boy gets a job. He worked at The Gap, folding t-shirts, right? And he's earning minimum wage and he's putting dollar after dollar together until he gets about $2,000 together and he bought like a 1988 Buick. And he's shining that thing every day and he's, he loves it, he takes pictures of it and he's, he's never crashed it, stays under the speed limit. Even give it a name. <laughs> Basanti. <laughs> wow, why did he why did he have such so much respect for this car? It's the ugliest car he has. He had a Lexus before this, he had a BMW before this. This is a the hideous car. But you know what? This was from his own earnings. His respect for it. We have to give our kids respect for money. You know, if, they, if we keep giving them things, they will not have respect for money. They won't have respect for money. It's really important we do that, you know. The same thing with, with, with girls, if you can find work, do it. If not, volunteer. Volunteer at a hospital, volunteer at a clinic. Help out at a shelter. Do things, Just keep yourself busy. Especially at that critical age and it will save you from a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble. These are just some things about balance and responsibility that I wanted to highlight. America, one of the wealthiest countries in the world. But the question is, how did it accumulate its wealth? Um, this is a nation founded on genocide and built, built on the backs of slaves. All right. Um, so, so we started with a racial problem. We want, we tried to el actually eliminate one entire race, and then we used another race to build this country actually quite quickly as a new country into a world power. This country never would have had the wealth that it had had it not had slavery for a couple of hundred years. But I say to white people, look, you didn't do it. Say, yeah, that's right, we, we didn't have nothing to do with slavery, yeah. But because of slavery, when you immigrants came here, America was already built with the blood, the sweat of my ancestors. So you got what you got because your fathers gave us what they gave us. One mistake that's often made is showing how the South the Confederacy acquired their wealth off of the backs of our ancestors. And even then, it's reduced to just a few slave owners who saw a real benefit. No. Chattel slavery of blacks benefited the South. But just as much, it benefited the North and all of America and its many European immigrants. America's economic structure was propelled by its dominant export sold throughout the world. Cotton. This one crop provided over half of all U.S. exports earnings. And by 1840, 60% of the world's cotton was grown, picked, and labored over for free by our ancestors. These plantation owners were raking in money, accumulating great wealth and never having to pay one dime to their laborers. But the North, the North was just as involved. The North developed a variety of businesses that provided services to the slave South, like textile factories, insurance companies, shippers, and cotton brokers. But it doesn't stop at the slave owner or the businesses that provided the services to the slave system. Banks, yes. Bankers on Wall Street made millions selling goods to the South. Along with giving loans and creating banks to finance Southern plantations. And much of the same wealth they still have today. Let me give you some examples. J.P. Morgan and Chase Bank admitted that between the years of 1831 to 1865, two of their predecessor banks, Citizens Bank and Canal Bank in Louisiana, accepted 13,000 slaves as collateral on loans that slave masters defaulted. 
One of the more successful banking families that built much of their wealth on the slave trade was the Brown family, more commonly known as the Brown Brothers and Harriman Company, which is the oldest and largest private investment bank. The Brown Brothers owned hundreds of slaves. This family dominated the cotton industry. They made a huge fortune by lending millions to southern planters and cotton brokers. Another portion of their wealth came by renting and the sales of slave ships they sold to slave merchants. They served as one of the most important sources of capital in foreign exchange in the U.S. economy. Wachovia Bank, recently acquired by Wells Fargo, also profited heavily off of this cruel system. Mayor Rothschild, a German banker and the founder of the Rothschild banking dynasty, which is believed to have become the wealthiest family in human history, made enormous gains by using our ancestors as collateral. The insurance industry also saw great benefits from slavery. Companies like AIG, Aetna, New York Life were the forerunners in this industry. But see, it's also very important to note that these same plantation owners and business owners would donate large sums of this wealth in order to train their children and the next generation on containing the wealth. For example, Harvard. Harvard was built due to large amounts of money given by Isaac Royal, a plantation owner in the Caribbean islands of Antigua who made a massive fortune off of his many sugar plantations. Yale? Yale was able to build its famous library and establish its prestigious scholarship program. Princeton. By the mid-1700s, many of its students were sons of plantation owners. Brown University. Named after the famous slave owner banker, the Brown Brothers, a large portion of this campus was built with slave labor. And these are just a few of the many institutions that was built with slave money. See, these men would be looked at as great businessmen, philanthropists. But in actuality, they were securing the wealth of their future by training and educating the next generation that would take over their plantations and their businesses and even become government officials responsible for creating laws, regulations, and policies that would keep blacks fighting for human rights and access to this stolen wealth for decades. For decades after slavery, blacks have fought against unequal education, which is a sure way of ensuring wealth disparities. We fought grandfather clauses to prevent us from affecting government in ways that could transfer wealth. Land grants, free land issued from the government that blacks were restricted from. The black codes, housing restrictions, redlining and FDA guarantee loans, predatory bank lending, convict leasing, which utilized black labor but does not transfer the wealth. I wish that I could say that this wealth disparity in America was isolated only in America, but it's not. All the wealth that was generated that helped to make Britain great, so-called, the British Empire, all of this came from enslavement and colonialism and ill-gotten gains. And it links to this modern discussion around inequality and the huge gap between the nations, not only in terms of Britain and Europe, but also the rest of the world, and in particular, Africa and the Caribbean. The truth is, this is the same scenario across every colonized land. Today, as a people, we fight for the Confederate flags to come down. We even fight for people to stop using the word nip. Right. Or other forms of bigotry to not be used. But we've been duped into believing that it's absolutely foolish to continue to fight for reparations. Many of us don't recognize the direct ties between the past and the wealth that was carried into today. Our ancestors were forced to invest in this economy without ever receiving a return. 
Unlike Jews, reparations were never paid to slaves or their descendants to help balance out this unjustified wealth. But understand that the reason our ancestors were enslaved was for the purpose of being able to call us a... Right. It was not even for the purpose of being able to raise a slave flag. No. All of the killing, the torturing, dehumanizing, inhumane treatment, all boiled down to one reason. Wealth. It was all business. Understand that. I know that our brother Martin did. I still have a dream. Not that one. At the very same time that America refused to give the Negro any land, through an act of Congress, our government was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest which meant that it was willing to undergird its white peasants from Europe with an economic floor. But not only did they give the land, they built land-grant colleges with government money to teach them how to farm. Not only that, they provided county agents to further their expertise in farming. Not only that, they provided low interest rates in order that they could mechanize their farms. Not only that, Today, many of these people are receiving millions of dollars in federal subsidies not to farm, and they are the very people telling the black man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. And this is what we are faced with, and this is a reality. Now, when we come to Washington in this campaign, we are coming to get our check. Fiery of aim, thought-provoking, always smoking, lyrics like a bazooka, you are listening to Muta Bar- Well, my people, we have made it to the end. It was a long journey, but people, it was super educational. I hope you learned something. We as African people, we have to wake up. We have to wake up. People, them, I get smart too because 70% of people didn't vote, didn't participate in their madness. So I guess we are getting there, my people, step by step, step by step. So now you want more to have to say. So definitely state your opinion down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. And also, you know it's a black power movement, so definitely drop a like and subscribe. And share it to a friend or one family member so they can be a part of the movement. And I'll catch you in the next one, Irie.